Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Tension JK. How you guys doing? You all good? I'm glad. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a little spiffed up today because I'm going to a wedding to help with some photography stuff. So that's going to be kind of fun. Um, it's really nice to uh, dress up. <laughs> it's just like, hmm, yes. Hello, governor. <laughs> I kind of like that uh, look. So this is kind of like my Mumford and Son look. Um, you know, that kind of like a uh, casual but sort of cool at the same time. So this is my new look, yeah? Um, <laughs> pretty nervous, pretty excited. Uh, I met this guy that I'm going to the wedding at a uh, mechanics place. I was getting my smog check done. <laughs> and uh, he happened to be Korean and I kind of spoke with him. and connected him to my girlfriend's photography thing and now we're shooting his wedding so that's pretty dope i'm really happy about that um besides that uh, i've been doing pretty good with myself having uh, a lot of victorious days you know some days i i feel like i'm losing and some days i feel victorious and i feel like my victorious days are outweighing my losing days which is a very very nice thing um, I'm happy in school. I'm happy in my life. I'm healthy. Um, I'm almost graduating, so I gotta think about the future a little bit, but my horizon looks very bright. I'm not as afraid that I used to be. And if there's anybody out there who are in the same situation as me, just know that just rely on God. Don't rely on your own understanding and stuff like this because you know, I'm in this new place now. I moved and I'm in an awesome place with an amazing family, amazing Christian family with two dogs and a kid. And it's just so beautiful here. I really love it here. I have my own backyard. You know, I could play my instrument. It's just the most comfortable place I've ever been. And there's so much gratitude towards God. And I'm so happy. You know, like I was driving the other day in my car and I was just kind of like, I had that moment of just, huh, I'm good. Like, hey, oh, I'm happy right now. What? Because it's so weird because for a really long time, I felt so unhappy. You know, just I felt passionless. I felt tired, like lethargic all the time. No motivation, no, none of that. And I remember repenting towards God, asking for his help, and then he cured me. Two years later, I feel amazing i threw away a lot of things that weakened me a lot of sins that you know boggled me down i got rid of it all i'm still struggling at some things but i mean god like compared to my old self it's just like this clean slate and i'm so happy <laughs> and i could only wish that upon you and and that's just you and god like you need to pray to him and read his read his words and you'll definitely grow and you'll definitely feel just liberated and free um there was a pastor who once told me or well, i read <laughs> he said purity is power i never really thought of that very much but it makes so much sense now purity is power because whatever you sow you will reap right so whatever bad things that you do in your life every bad choices that you make these things just come back to you you know what i mean like sometimes we lie and sometimes we cheat thinking that it'll benefit us somehow that it'll make our lives better but it really doesn't you know and i and i had to learn the hard way and i decided and i drew a line saying you know what god i'm going to do the right things and so be it if something bad happens because i do the right things good it happened because i did something good you know what i mean and so after doing that i started to make little changes here and there just very little changes but they were a step to the right direction you know before i used to just let it go just you know faith will take care of itself but james also says that faith without works is dead it doesn't mean that you have to do works to get saved saved is by grace alone through jesus alone but, you know, when you have faith, works come about. You do things because you trust. You have faith. Like, I have trust that God will lead me and that whatever I do, God will be there with me. Whether it be my arts, whether it be music or whatever it may be, God will be there for me. And so, therefore, 
although it's a little bit scary step, I take that step. And the more I take that step, it becomes more confident. I'm like, huh, like he actually takes care of me. Whoa. Because when I was, um, you know, I had a little thing with my roommate. Nothing bad happened, but like um, we needed to set, you know, separate ways. And I was just, I had like not enough money and stuff like this. And I needed to move to a new place and, and nobody would reply back to me. You know, like I was looking at Craigslist and just, it was the most scariest time. I mean, I had I had money to pay for it and all, but people wouldn't reply back to me, and and I wanted to make sure I was in a good place and all that, and I totally just relied on God. I was panicking at first, but then I was like, you know what, God will take care of me, and He did. <laughs> the first thing that I, that the first thing that happened when I got here was when I came into the room, there was a table, and on that table there was a Bible, <laughs> a Bible sitting there, and. The guy that was here before was an Asian guy too, and he was a Christian. And so when I saw the Bible, I said, "Are you guys Christian?" And they're like, "Yeah, are you?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I just, you know, told them my testimony of how I've been praying and I wanted to find a Christian, have family, and all this. And they happen to have two dogs, and one looks like Shadow from Homer Bound, the Golden Retriever. I've always wanted that dog, and it's outside my window all the time, begging for treats. It's like the greatest thing ever. And uh, they're just so hospitable and just so polite and so amazing to me. And so every time these little things happen, little testimonies, small things, I start to gain trust. I trust God. I'm like, all right, he'll take care of me. And so I'm graduating in December. It's daunting. There's a lot of things I got to do. My art is definitely improved, but there's monsters out there. <laughs> There are monsters out there. There's so many amazing artists and stuff like this. But I trust that God will always increase, you know, and He will always lead me. And I'll get better and I'll get better. And I'll have my own style and I'll be the best at my own style. <laughs> and um, it gives me a lot of hope and, and I start to build a lot of faith to Him. And so I'm kind of excited and I'm um, just kind of looking forward to that. And uh, I've been keeping up with a lot of healthy things. I've been working out a lot. And God, that does so much for my health and so much for my mind. I got rid of drugs and alcohol and filled it up with things that really you know, benefit me in my life. And it's just been amazing. And even in school, like I used to think like, oh, people are so this and people are so that. But now God gave me a new heart, you know, like love them. <laughs> is a new heart is to love your neighbor as yourself and I never really understood that but when I started to show love to other people I got that love back and it was the most amazing feeling for me because I'm very introverted and I'm very antisocial I like to be alone a lot and because of that but it's 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 always a contradicting feeling because at one point I like being alone but another point I feel very left out and I feel depressed and stuff like this but after I started to change my ways and I started to change my perspective and my mind, I just started to love people. Just kind of, you know, talk to them more deeply and get to know them and to compliment them and to just shower them with love. And I noticed that they come to me. I gravit like people gravitate towards me and it's an amazing thing. And I don't know, I've just been happy in a lot of areas in my life. There's, you know, room for improvement. improvement. There's a lot of things to do. But I also know that if God is my potter, you know, then I'm the clay, right? <laughs> and I'm not a completely made vase yet. He's making me into something. I don't know what it is. And everybody has their own different shape and style and use. But I know that whatever it may be, it'll be, you know, what God wanted me to be. And I'm very um, happy and honored by that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you get what I'm saying, basically. Um, so if there's anybody out there who, you know, listening, and just, I know how hard this world can be sometimes, and so scary sometimes, and I feel like I understand that sometimes you just don't have the strength to get up, you know, and it's just, the world could be very scary and mean and hateful. But just know that, you know, you can make a difference. You are the light that God created. You are the light to other people. Stop being 
destroyed by the world, but be the light, you know? Be it, go out there. Go out there and show the love to others, right? It could be a small thing. I noticed that it's those little, little things that really make somebody smile. Like today, I went to Starbucks and I just, you know, said, uh, wow, I really love your hair today. It looks really pretty or something like this. Like, it's just not in a flirting way, but like a genuine, like, hey, you know, I really appreciate the way you did your hair today or the way you look or whatever it is. And you could totally tell this person was just kind of like, do -do -do -do, put some syrup in this thing and some cream. Here we go. And it's just like super happy, you know, and it made me happy in return. And it's not just those little compliments, but just, you know, caring for others, right? Thinking a little bit deeper for others, just the way you want to be, um, I mean, done too, if that makes sense. And, and so this is probably why I'm making a video, because um, I want to do that for some people out there, you know? I was really wrong and selfish to think that you know, what I'm doing is meaningless. Because I used to think that, like, just, ah, it's just a YouTube video. I don't even know how to edit my videos, and it's just not very presentable, etc., etc., etc. But I kept reading the comments that you guys left, and the older comments, and just emails. And I just threw away my self-consciousness and just read what they said. And it's pretty unanimous. I am helping people. I don't know how, and I don't know why. And... But somehow there are people out there who could relate to what I say and I just learned to just accept that and say, you know what, cool, God is using me for that purpose. Thank you. And I thank you guys. And um, I really hope that I could keep making more videos for you guys and not feel so self-conscious about what, you know, <laughs> what people might say or whatnot. I just want to share the word of God with you guys, um, word of hope, some I don't know, whatever, right? Anything. And so, uh, thank you. Talk to you guys soon. Wish me luck. Spiffy. Yeah. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.